Slim 120 millimeter fans are often a necessity in small form factor builds, and oftentimes there just isn't enough space to squeeze in a 25 millimeter fan. When it comes to 15 millimeter fans though, your high performance options are pretty slim, but now we have another contender to talk about today. Even though it might not be the new sheriff in town, you might say there is definitely another deputy. Welcome back to Machines and More. Building off its fan favorite Arctic P12, Arctic is releasing the slim version of the P12. That 25 millimeter of the P12 is an excellent performer and it rivals the performance of the Nocto NF-A12 by 25, which is one of the best 120 millimeter fans at a fraction of the cost. The Slim P12 is a PWM fan coming in at 15 millimeters. And even though it's a P family fan, this blade design is notably different. Instead of five big blades on the P12 25 millimeter, the P12 Slim has seven blades. The design is simple, the only decoration being the white Arctic logo and lettering. This fan features Arctic's PST, which is a fancy way of saying that it allows you to chain multiples of these fans together without having to use a splitter on the motherboard header. It's a very nice feature though, and it will save you the trouble and expense of a splitter cable. In the box, you get a bag of four fan screws, and that's it. It indeed measures in at 15 millimeters. There's no rubber bumpers or fancy vibration dampeners that'll add to its height either. I'm most interested in comparing the performance of this fan, so really let's jump right into the side-by-side -side comparison. For slim fans, enthusiasts would generally look to the Noctua NFA 12 by 15 or the Scythe Kaze Flex Slim. The slim Noctua A12 is highly regarded, and though the 25 millimeter version of the A12 is better, I would consider this to be the best performing slim fan on the market. So that will be our benchmark today. The test setup uses an open air Arctic Freezer 240 AAO, cooling an Intel i5 10600K that is overclocked to 4.9 gigahertz on all cores at 1.2 volts delivered to the chip. It's a slight overclock, so it should give a good thermal load with the chip drawing 122 watts at load during the roughly 12 minute blender render. Noise normalization allows us to compare the cooling performance of the two models on a like for like basis. At the same noise levels, the P12 actually spins noticeably faster than the Noctua Slim. And at the higher RPMs and equal noise levels, that P12 can spin about 200 RPM faster. But RPMs aren't the only indicator of performance. I'm testing at two noise levels, one that is three and a half decibels higher than noise floor at 20 centimeters away, and one that is five decibels higher. At the first noise level, the P12 spun at 1500 RPM versus the Noctua's 1180 RPM. And as you can see from the thermal data, the fans are practically identical, and there's little to choose from between these at this level. The Noctua is fractionally ahead, but it's just that, a fraction. Going up higher at 1650 RPM for the P12 and 1400 for the Noctua sees that Noctua pull ahead ever so slightly. The P12 is within a degree, so it's nothing mind blowing. So you might wonder how much performance are you giving up by running a slim fan versus the full P12? Well, as it turns out, really not that much. At the same noise level, the 25 millimeter P12 will give you about 1630 RPM and that yields thermals that are about a de degree better than the slim version, which basically lines up with that from the Noctua A12 by 15. So on a performance basis, I'd place these fans as functionally equal and I wouldn't have any qualms running either of these as a rad fan. If you're thinking of using this as a case fan, then at the lower RPMs, there's no real concern either. Here's a quick sound snippet of the two fans at selected RPMs. Knowing that there is a concern with motor hum on the P12 25mm, I scoured the RPM ranges looking for a similar issue, and 
Yes, I did identify a semblance of that at 1165 RPM, though I found it nothing at all like the full 25 millimeter version. This one's much quieter. So in that regard, this fan is actually superior. It features a fluid dynamic bearing and I didn't detect any bearing noise or odd squeaks during operation. Evaluating the fan in terms of its build and its material quality, it's average. And it definitely feels less well-made than the Noctua. The fan is lighter, the blade material is thinner, the frame has a little bit more flex and play in the axle too, but such is the appeal of the P-Series design to begin with. While the Noxus Slim has grooves on the frame and the fan blades, the P12 is just a high performance and a quiet fan without the frou-frou. There is a potential concern if the fan were to become unbalanced since the blade is so close to the frame and it will definitely rub the frame if there's any imbalance. However, this fan features a good 10 year warranty and typically I would think that axle defect would be a warranty issue. This fan will retail for $10.99 in the US and it is coming in at a higher price point than I'm used to on the 25 millimeter version of the B12. But that being said, for the price of one of these Noctos, you could pick up two Arctics and still have change left over too. So such is the value proposition. For a high-end custom loop, I would still lean towards the Noctuas, but I wouldn't hesitate to spring for these as a case fan or even a rad fan on an AIO. Arctic has released a few new products recently, along with the Bionics ARGB, and I think this one is the most impressive one in a much needed area, especially for SFF builders. I'm impressed and I like it. There's not a huge penalty for this being a slim fan at all. It's quiet, high performance, and it appears to have improved upon the motor issue of the original P12. And as such, I can highly recommend this one. So I hope you found this useful. If so, please give a like, subscribe, and do check out some of the product links down below to help support the channel. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you again soon.